everyone, this is the Book Devotee, and I'm here with another video. This time, we're reviewing the book, Enchanted Ink. Uh, this book is by Shanna Swenson, and I apologize now if I've said the name wrong. I'm not always the best at pronouncing things, but I'm pretty sure it's Swenson. Um, I actually just found this author at the library. I was looking for a, a new book. Something I've never read before. You know how it is. You're bored with all the other stuff you've read. You're looking for something a little different. I just happened to pull this off the shelf and start reading it. It's one of those books that just kind of... I flipped to the middle of the book and started reading and liked what I was reading. So I checked it out. And I haven't regretted it since then. Um, the story is about Katie Chandler. Who is as ordinary as you can get. She's a, from a small town, uh, moved to New York with her friends after going to a friend's wedding there and got convinced to stay. She's working as an administrative assistant. You know, she's got the worst boss in the world. The lady picks on her constantly, tries to make herself look better and find all of Katie's faults. She can't find a guy. She just feels like maybe she doesn't always belong there. Well, she happens to notice a few things about New York that no one else seems to notice anything on at all. Her friends don't notice it, certainly, so she figures it's typical New York. Fairies walking down the street, she thinks are supermodels coming up with a new fashion. Or, you know, she sees someone and no one else thinks it's weird, so she figures it's just typical New York. Well, it's one day she's on her way to work and she's on the subway. And she sees a couple people like that. Everyone else is treating this one guy like he's this you know, handsome god or something like that. And she's looking at him going, he's kind of creepy. So she doesn't get it. And she sees a fairy, but she thinks that it's just some girl wearing wings and no one else thinks it's odd. So she doesn't think anything of it. Well, she starts getting these emails saying, hey, we have a job offer for you. She figures it's spam or something like that. So she goes ahead and just kind of deletes it and ignores it. As time goes on, though, her job keeps getting worse. She goes out on a date with her friends on a blind date, and someone sends drinks to her. Well, it happens to be the guy from the subway that she's been seeing around town that she thinks has been following her. So she's just a little bit on the suspicious side with him. She thinks maybe he's a stalker or something like that. Understandable, really. Well, she finally gets an email that she reads that tells her who he is and stuff and that they've got a job position open and they'd like to talk to her. Well, her boss just drives her nuts one day and she decides, why not? Maybe it's something better for me. So she goes ahead and goes to the interview. And she finds out that it's not your normal job opportunity. It's not your normal place. You know, she's told about the fact that magic exists. She is considered immune, meaning she is not affected by the magic. She sees the reality when everyone else sees an illusion. And they need her because there's a lot of stuff going on right now and they need someone who can see through the tricks to see what maybe they don't see. So she finally accepts it because it pays more than what she's used to and her boss drives her to the point that she ends up resigning then and there and calling him back and saying, I'll take the job. And she starts her career with Magic Inc. Um, it's a, an interesting place full of fairies and ogres and all these other things that she's really not used to, but she's found out no one else notices. They all see the fake veneer or whatever that she's never seen before. It's kind of a relief for her to know that she's not as crazy as she thought. She's just different, that's all. But at that place, being simple, logic-minded, and immune to magic is a bonus. Makes her a very rare person. Within a week of being there, she spots someone who's not supposed to be there at all, trying to break in, and it ends up tackling him. And then she also ends up getting promoted to the head boss secretary slash assistant, where she has a ton of other adventures. Uh, pros for this book are that they're fun. It's fun to read. It's one of those books, it's set in a modern setting, New York, but it still has that 
magical twist to it. You know, I haven't read any of the other books. This is the first book in the series. Apparently, there is a few other books in this series. I just haven't gotten to them yet. Um, I found this one and loved it, so I figured I'd go ahead and check it out and see what I thought of it. It's got everything you need. It's lighthearted, nothing too serious. Has a little bit of a romance in it, but nothing too, you know, over the top or anything. It's more of a, she's got a crush on someone, but nothing ever happens. You know, she kisses a frog in it, and he thinks he's a frog. He's not, but he does. That's a kind of funny scene. It gets you to laugh. If you're reading it in public, you'll start laughing for no apparent reason. Uh, <laughs> it's just one of those books that you really enjoy reading. And when you finish it, it's not as long as some books that I've read. I mean, it's only, I don't know, but five, 308 pages. That's, that's fairly short for me. So, I mean, it may not take everyone that long to read, but it's still, it's a light-hearted, good comedy. It's a little bit of fun tossed into it, and it's written in such a way that it's almost believable that magic is real. Almost. Now, um, if I could find any faults with this book, any faults at all, is the ending kind of leaves you baffled. Yes, it's the first book and there's other books, but the ending leaves you feeling as if there should be a different ending. Um, because, I mean, in the end, she saves the day, things go great. But there's always, if you read the back of it, it, you know, it kind of tells you a little bit about the book. And then it also mentions a hopefully, you know, living happily ever after with the guy that she has a crush on. Well... I'm used to the, maybe it's because I'm used to the more romance books where in the end the couple get together and it's all there. Um, I don't know. I'm going to read the other books and see what I think. You know, I just, the ending for me kind of left me wanting more, which may be what she intended. I don't know. I've never read this author before, so I'm looking forward to what I read next. Um, I give this, a, I'll give it a five star rating. You know, it's a good book. I've enjoyed it. You know, it's just it's one of those things that just you start reading it and you just you get drawn in. You feel like you're next to the person, like you're walking with them. But it's typical New York. You feel like you're on the subway or you're at her workplace seeing a fairy floating around and you don't know why that's normal. Or talking to a gargoyle on the roof of a building. You know, it's really sweet and funny and it kind of makes it seem like they're real people. So I'm kind of curious to see what the next book in the series is about. I mean, we'll have to see. I really like it, though, so I give it a five star, and I highly recommend reading this book. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and maybe found another book to read. Enchanted Ink, the first one in the series, is very good. If you like what you've seen and you want to see more reviews, then please check out my other videos. I'm on YouTube, I'm on Facebook, thebookdevotee.com. Like my page or my videos if you'd like, because I'll be doing plenty more videos. You're more than welcome to subscribe. And if you have a book recommendation, or you have a comment, you don't like my review, and you want to say something, please be polite about it. But be more than happy to leave a comment, or a book recommendation, or even a suggestion on my page on Facebook. I'm also on Twitter. Um, Lady Books. On Twitter but you're more than welcome to get on there as well because I sometimes put my reviews there if you didn't like it but you know someone who did please be more than happy to share my page I'm just starting out and trying to get out there a little bit so I'd appreciate any help you guys could give have a wonderful night and until next time keep reading